This narrow sandstone gorge, carved so long ago by the forces of wind and water, guarded the entrance to the ancient city of Petra in Jordan. At the end of the gorge, this famous tomb from a first century Nabataean king, whose name has been lost to us, gives mute testimony to the artistry of this lost civilization. At the height of its power, the Nabataean kingdom stretched north to Damascus and covered parts of the Sinai Negev deserts, effectively ruling the greater part of ancient Arabia. The city of Petra was strategically located at the point where the great north-south trade route from Arabia and Egypt to the Mediterranean ports intersected with the westward trade route from the Far East. From this well-hidden and protected staging post, Petra had great leverage over the trade of ancient Arabia, levying tolls and sheltering caravans that were laden with animal hides, Indian silks, spices, frankincense, asphalt, and African ivory. The secret to Petra's prosperity lay in its massive system of hydraulic engineering. Channels were carved into the rock, and earthenware pipes, dams, and cisterns gave Petra an abundant supply of water for surrounding farmland, the busy city itself, and thirsty caravans. Today, Petra looks like an eerie city of vacant tombs, but archaeologists are discovering that ancient Petra was a sprawling city of perhaps 30,000 citizens who enjoyed lush gardens and fountains, enormous temples, and spacious Roman-style villas. This amphitheater could seat 6,000 spectators. Petra enjoyed independence, wealth, and prosperity for hundreds of years until it was absorbed by the expanding Roman Empire in 106 AD, when Emperor Trajan annexed the Nabataean Kingdom into the Roman province of Arabia and made Petra its capital. Over time, the Romans diverted the trade routes to Basra and Syria. Commerce quickly declined and then died out entirely. Successive earthquakes also took a heavy toll. By the year 1500, Petra was lost to the Western world, home only to the shifting sands and nomadic Bedouins, until 1812, when Johann Burckhardt, a Swiss explorer, persuaded his Bedouin guide to take him to the lost city on the pretext that he wanted a pilgrimage to the tomb of Aaron, brother of Moses. It was 120 years later that excavations began under the British.